We are installing Polaris factory heated hand warmers on a 2016 Polaris Sportsman 570. It's a really quick install. It took us about 10 minutes and we did it just before we went on a trail ride. What you're going to want to do first is remove the three Phillips head screws from the headlight pod. I'm pointing to the location where the switch is going to go. There is factory cutouts. You can see them later on in the video. Remove the pod from its base and unplug the speedometer harness from the speedometer. Remove the gasket from its seat. So it's on the way when you take that cover off. I used a Milwaukee M12 cordless impact. You don't have to. Just take note, when you go to tighten these back down, those are coarse threaded screws. And if you over tighten, you could strip those holes out. It's only in plastic and you definitely don't want those to come loose. Remove the cover so you can access the power points. Here we have two power points. One is orange with a white stripe. That is your keyed power. The other one is pure orange wire. That's for your constant power. We're using our orange and white, the keyed, so we don't accidentally drain the battery when we, if we leave the switch on. Take a knife to cut that tape out of the way so you just have more room to work with those wires. You don't have to do this. You can remove those hand grips with compressed air. We just didn't bother. For 20 bucks, you could buy yourself a brand new set of grips that are going to be way more comfortable than the factory grips. Make sure there's no mud or dirt or debris before you apply the, essentially what is a sticker. It's a sticky pad. Orient, orientate your wires, brown, blue, and white, so they're facing towards the back. That just gives you optimal length and placement so they're not going to flop around. We use some tape just to tape up that that hand warmer. Uh, as you could tell the grips aren't sticking very well especially since it's cold. Uh, just that little bit of tape will ensure that they're not going to move around when we go to put the grip on. Be liberal with the glue, the amount of glue you put on, you're going to use it as a lubricant. These are fairly tight to, to put on the handlebars and you don't want to get them stuck halfway on. Take this time to remove the factory tie wraps holding your cables onto the handlebars. Root your wires down the handlebars and tie wrap in place to ensure a factory appearance. Add your excess wiring to the headlight pod. Now for the throttle side, orientate your wires so they're facing down between the switch for the four wheel drive and the thumb throttle. Again, we're going to use some tape on this side to ensure those grips don't move when we go to install the hand grips. You're going to want to make those tape wraps nice and tight. You don't want any extra width when you go to put on the grips. We use a different glue here than what came with the package just because what came in the package wasn't enough. It takes a bit of force to get this side on, again because the glue is different. But what you're going to want to do is take the time to make those waffles straight. Once that glue sets you can't fix that and you want a nice neat clean appearance.
just like the other side, root your cables down, the handlebars, tie wrap them in place, and add your excess wiring into the headlight pod. Take the remaining wire, the red and brown wire from the package. Red is for your constant power to the rocker switch and the brown is the ground for the system. Install the blade end into the power point. It's a compression fit. It'll be very snug. Press it until it seats in its base. Take some electrical tape to seal that connection up from any water or any other dirt or debris. Loosen and remove the 3 8 inch nut off the negative power terminal on the block that's where we're going to install the eyelet of the brown wire for our system ground when reinstalling don't over tighten that it's a locking nut you definitely don't want to over tighten it and break that block Root your wires up into the headlight pod, taking care not to twist them around a wire loom or any other part of the machine. As I've shown here. Depending on which way you rooted your cables, throw a couple tie wraps on there just so they're not bouncing around underneath that cover. I took the headlight pod into uh, inside into a flat location. Take a razor blade and make small cuts to cut that hole out. Those holes are pre-cut for the factory specifications of those switches. Take many small cuts, and if it's too small, you could always make it bigger. If it's too big, you can't go smaller. That rocker switch fits in nicely, and now we're going to hook up our wires. Red goes to the center terminal, blue goes to the high terminal, and white goes to your low terminal. Hook the speedometer cable up, reinstall the headlight pod, and reinsert your Phillips head screws. Put the cover for your power point back on. Put the gasket back in its seat. And reinstall the screws, taking care not to over tighten them. Close everything up, 
cut the tie wraps and you've installed the Polaris factory heated hand warmers. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you learned something today. Very easy installation. Anyone could do it with a few basic hand tools. All we needed was a screwdriver, your Torx head bit, and a knife. If you have side cutters, great. I just didn't feel like grabbing them. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. Any questions, concerns, thoughts, feel free to drop me a line in the comment section. Have a great one, guys. I'll see you on the trails.